Welcome back to Aerofly FS4 and the Airbus A380. Today we're going to start this Super Jumbo from Cold and Dark, so let's jump in and begin. First we'll switch on batteries. And fuel pumps. Set the IRS to nav and switch on the external power. Switch on the APU master and start the APU. When the APU shows as available, switch on the APU bleed. On the FMC, our flight plan that we made in the world map has pulled through, but as soon as we head to the initialize page and enter our cruising altitude, using the keys just below the FMC. It actually clears our flight plan. So we'll head back to the flight plan page of the FMC and we'll do manual entry of our plan today. So on the initialize page, we can choose our departure. That was runway 04 and Barkway 2 Sierra from Stansted and hit temporary flight plan to insert. As for approach, Hit our destination airport, select runway and arrival and approach and insert that. Let's clear out the discontinuity in the flight plan. Just click on it and hit delete. And that's restored our flight plan. It's now complete from runway to runway, departure to destination. Now on our perf page, we can see that these speeds and flex temp are already calculated. Up on the autopilot panel, speed and heading are in manage mode, flight director is active and we'll dial in our cruising altitude which was 26,000 for this flight. On the navigation display we can see our plan is all correct and confirm head over to plan on the navigation display and using the FMC flight plan page we can step through that plan just to make sure it's all good and then switch the navigation display back to ARC. Back on the overhead panel, we can start the engines. Flick the start switch to start, and we'll flick on the ignition for engine four. Engine number four will now start, and when it shows as available, in the real world, these engines are started in a certain order, but in the sim, we can just flick on the other engines all at once and very shortly on the ECAM you'll see all engines showing as available. We've now got a pre-takeoff checklist to complete. But first we'll switch off the APU bleed, switch off the APU and switch off external power. To work through this pre-takeoff checklist, auto brake to RTO, spoilers to the arms position, and flaps to takeoff config. Flap config for takeoff is shown on the perf page. Now we'll check the takeoff config and everything looks good. Don't forget to switch off the engine starter, set the engine switch to normal. And that's it, we're ready to go from here on out. You can follow my full flight tutorial, which is linked in my Aerofly playlist. Thanks so much for watching, I hope this was useful. If it was, please drop a like and subscribe for regular flight sim and aerofly content. Take care and I'll see you next time.